Michael Block. Long time no see. We're in a short ride on the Sunday. On a Sunday afternoon. Seems like it's gonna rain a little bit. That's okay. Better than uh, all the other stuff out there. So, uh, I'm real sorry that I haven't had any vlogs lately. I have not ruined my bike in a week either. I've been uh, so busy. Since returning from Guanxi, I've been preparing for a new camp that started. And uh, I had some bad computer problems. I had a graphic card die to my computer. My nice, expensive graphic card that just decided to die, man. On a bad day, right? I'm working and so then I put it in my other son's in Paul's computer to test it out to see if it was the graphic card or the motherboard and it killed his computer. Ah and I really don't need to spend any extra money right now, but I had to get two motherboards and I took Paul's computer graphic card out. He's running with CPU grab for the graphic card built into the CPU. It's not really good. I made the big choice. A lot of news coming at you right now. I made a big choice to actually uh, go ahead and uh, woo, I'm missing all my fat, man. I'm, I'm doing this as a skinny guy now. You know, I'm losing a lot of weight from controlling my diet carefully rather than getting good exercise, which means I'm not so muscular as I'd like. My body's not as strong as I wish it would be right now. But I guess that's gonna change, huh? Made the decision to leave the children with Huang, with my wife. And uh, it is such a hard choice to make. I miss, and I love every single one of them in a different way, including my wife. But I've gone over it over and over in my head and I try to think of how I could plan it to bring them and be homeless. And to get established in transitional housing. I thought, how can I, how can I do that? And go out and get a job and take care of my wife. She's gonna be all alone when I leave. Her brothers, her mom, they don't care about her at all. They don't recognize that she's got special needs. And you know, my wife is probably, I've been realizing my, my wife was probably autistic, man, too. And um, she's got serious issues, you know, and I, it breaks my heart to leave her on her own. She's not ready to do that, but she's gotta be ready. And, and, and you know what? She's gotta do it with the kids.
and that's even going to be harder. If I take the kids with me, I don't have any hope in finding a job. We'll just be 100% homeless. And the cost of childcare over there for one month would be literally one year of rent over here. So I made the choice and I'm gonna try to get all the money I can to make them safe while I'm gone. But you know what? I'm just barely making it out of here, man. I, we're trying to sell everything we have on, on the yellow fish program, the same one I told you, you can find great deals. You can also sell things, so I'm, I'm trying to sell everything. Shit. Forgot to start my Strava! Damn it! It's okay. So the stats will be fucked up on this one here. But I'm trying to sell everything I can. And um... I'm gonna try to start a GoFundMe page. I bought my plane ticket for September 15th and it's cheaper to fly to California than it is to Reno. So I'm, I'm going to fly into LA and I'm putting together my C, I'm putting together a two minute video for my, for my CV. Together with my CV, and I'm gonna send that out to all the tests. You know, I I don't know how I could work in California because I just can't go camping in California safely, and I don't have the money to live there. And California is so goddamn dangerous. Whereas you go to Reno. You got a desert to go camping in and be self-sufficient and to survive. You go to California and the jungles of California will, will kill you. You know, and uh, I'm not real happy. But if there's a job offer immediately, if I could get my CV out this week, maybe I could arrive with the job offer. That's my goal. My wife is going crazy. She feels like I'm abandoning her. She begs me to take her to the desert. And uh, sneak her in and she said do anything to keep our family together. And I said I know honey, I, I really tried every way I know how. It's impossible. Possible to do this. To keep so so she's not handled it very good. I mean she's trying and I I hope that she can do it because she's got to keep a strong will and she's got to watch the children keep them safe and in our home at least they've got everything I got to pay the bills but they've got everything there And 
they're close to the embassy. The police, they register with the police. They, they won't get hassled by any police. And they, if she could maintain it, and I could go back and get hired, I could send her money and the boys money and try to do everything I can do. But it's so goddamn dangerous. It is really, really hard for my wife to be alone. She's not like normal people, you know? But it's a do or die situation, man. I, I can't believe I'm leaving my kids. If it wasn't for this goddamn immigration, this would never ever be happening. It would ne I would never ever walk away from my children and my wife. Not, not, not in a hundred thousand years. So, so this camp's gonna come to an end and I'm gonna, my private classes are coming to an end and I'm just trying to get as much money as I can. I, I got the plane ticket for 3,000 yen. I gotta pay another thousand yen to put my bike on the plane or something. And uh, I'm, we're gonna try to sell the tent we bought and the kids' sleeping bags just to get my wife some extra safety money. I'm taking a lot of the camping gear with me. Just me, it's a lot different than going back with my kids. I got a two person Alpine double wall tent for 230 yen. Unbelievable deal on it. It's like a little TP style. It's not like, I mean, I hope it works. It's smaller to carry. My plan is to find jobs. I can look at SpaceX and all these other jobs now. I'll send them my CV, but there's a good job and a couple good jobs in Tesla I'm going for that I think are well suited to my experience. And uh, they got two jobs, they're like 60 hour shifts. I see a lot of workers complain about 60 hours. I hear about Elon Musk complain about working that long. Man, I've been working 100 and 120 hour work weeks for the last 15 years, you know what I mean? It's okay for me to work. I'll take both the shifts. They got them. I, my family's not gonna be there. I could be a machine, man. Um, while I'm looking for all the jobs, I really hope to get a job in the Gigafactory. And uh, I'm planning some Put some fishing line out to try to catch some fish. I hear the Tukachi River is pretty clean to catch fish. I hear six eggs a day costs about a dollar. I'm gonna try to wash my clothes. Somebody gave me some links for mobile washing and shower resources when I get to Reno. I'm gonna try to get a storage box, storage. So when I need to drop my bike off in storage, I'm trying to look, they got these boxes you could lock your bike in. I'm trying to get those all set. Look, there's not a drop of rain over here. Isn't that nice? <laughs> the ground is dry. It's a miracle. So I'm going to, I'm dripping rain here and it's not even wet here at all. I'm going to uh, get a P.O. box, get a SIM card. I've got clothes. I need to wash my clothes, I need to eat, and I need to get that job, man. 
and um, more than one if necessary. Get a camouflage tarp. When I'm looking for a job of getting food from a food bank or whatever, I could grab that stuff. I don't need to sit around the city where it's dangerous. I'll go out and play with the metal detector. I don't know if I'm gonna try to sell the metal detector or not. Get more cash for them. Go out and play with it. If I have the metal detector with me, I go out and... I'm looking for jobs, man. I'm not gonna be in the city. I'm gonna be out to work. I'm out to work, to work, to work. That's it. I don't need to be in the, there's nothing I need in the city except for a job and to go pick up food. And I found out, I thought about washing my clothes in the river. People are telling me that's not gonna work out very well. It looks like I probably will have to bring one of my, the, the midget trailer that I bought. I'm not quite sure yet. I haven't tried to pack everything into my pannier bags. I mean, if I could get into my bags, that's cool. <laughs> but I guess I probably can't. I'll probably have to take the midget trailer, which is a lot easier to pull when you're not pulling three kids behind it. Some, uh, somebody told me, I don't know if they're being an asshole, they said, autistic people, special needs get free state park passes, man. Is that true? I don't know if it is or not. But, um, you know, that's the thing is I'm not, I'm not gonna stick around people waiting to be robbed. There's nothing people have that I need. I don't know if I need to get a state ID to get a job or not. I'm worried about having an address. If I need an address to get a job. That's a big concern for me. So, That's the challenge I haven't figured out yet. But I don't know if my wife's gonna be able to do this, man. I, she's flipping out. She's so scared. I'm so scared. I'm so overspent in every way possible. I wanted to be riding a lot more to have a better endurance. But I'll try, I got until the 15th. I'm real worried. You know, I some people on Reddit said, oh, you could wash clothes, but they're talking about spending $100 a month to wash clothes. I could wash them by hand. I got to get that money to my family. You know, all these years, I could never ever not have a job. If I didn't have a job, my family couldn't get paid. And 
China would turn into a Venus. Uninhabitable. So as soon as I get off that plane, that clock is ticking. Now when I get to LA, and I'm carrying my gear, I don't need to tell you how dangerous LA is, right? I love LA. No, I don't love LA, man. Is that a song? I realize it. I'm gonna run out of energy and I'm gonna need a place to sleep. Now I know there's a bus that goes to Reno for 12 or 15 dollars. I should be getting on that bus. Some other people tell me that California's got better homeless care than Nevada. And that I should stay there and I could get like $200 in cash and uh, it's easier than in Nevada. But the thing is I'm not going to America to be professional homeless. I could fish. They got food banks. I need money from my wife. I'll sell blood. My job started. I tried to make a GoFundMe. I hope that works out, everybody. It's hard. It's hard to make the GoFundMe and do the job I'm doing. Write the CV at the same time. So give me, I try to have to go find me live by Wednesday maybe. I'm trying to take any work I can before I leave. I'm trying to put our stuff on the yellow fish program. I'm trying to coach my wife. I'm losing hours and hours to her sadness and her losing control and not knowing what to do and talking her down and giving her therapy, you know, I'm, I'm losing a whole lot of time. The scope of this is huge. She's not just... I mean, if she was a normal person, it'd be okay, you know? I got to go to the embassy and get the I-130 done. A big part of the application process. That's going to cost us three and a half thousand yen. And use most of our remaining money. If I'm lucky, I'm going to have 8,000 yen. 9,000 yen which is not which is like a little bit more than 1,000 US dollars for the kids and that ain't much at all and I hope I have enough money for a SIM card and the storage box and 
And uh, and some eggs. If I don't got money for food, that's okay. As long as I got money for a phone. I've got all the equipment. I need to get some cooking fuel. And I need to get some, uh, I'll try to buy the soap and my toiletries here in China before I leave. I'll buy every single thing I can before I leave. I got battery packs up the kazoo. I have no fear of that. I got Qualtaqua's old phone and my phone. Oh man, I'm, I wish I could have time to make more money. I sure do. But that would be getting a job for another term and entering into a contract. And the contracts are really dangerous now. You know, last, last term I was threatened with jail for some bogus charges and the harassment is increasing. The general teaching environment is not a a lot of changes happening in China. A lot of changes, man. Uh, I could probably be okay. I mean, if my wife had her passport, I would not be leaving China at all. We'd be, we'd be doing it the right way. If we were gonna leave to go to America, we'd be saving money and not leaving like this. But. Ain't got a choice. But there's some nice looking job. You know, look at what's going on though. Look at what's happening since I'm getting ready to close to go by Elon Musk. Tesla. Look at the drama with Twitter. You know, this wouldn't be happening if I wasn't going. You know that? I hope that Elon Musk could withstand all this negativity and doesn't do something stupid like commit suicide or something. Hope not. A lot of terrible things happening so that's the big news man I've got three camera batteries and a charger unlike before I'll continue to blog I'll let you know what's up you guys can subscribe and follow. You guys could donate to Patreon. That makes a huge difference. I'm gonna try to find some Chinese people in America that can help me 
put money on my WeChat to send to my wife. Ah. Uh. Apollo and Solaris are going to be such big boys now. They can't understand. I stopped buying them snacks going outside. Stopped buying them drinks. Made them carry water bottles from the house. Bobby, they don't understand. And as I'm so busy getting ready to go, I really don't have time for anybody. So they've been alone and they don't understand what's going on, but. It's quite painful, you know? Quite a painful experience. I would not recommend. But it's, it's happening. My wife was begging me to take the children with me. It's impossible. I hear Paul Tock was having a rough time in America. They put him in with the regular freshmen. I hope he can do well. I hope I can do well, everybody. Hope I can watch my gear. I hope I can get into better shape. Stay out of the day. I mean, look, I mean, I feel like going back to America is like riding a bike in Afghanistan. I feel like everybody up on the street is getting ready to jump you or rob you or cheat you or steal from you. Or they're looking down on you. So, me going out there on this island is like going to another planet. I don't want to be by nobody. I don't want to be attacked. I don't want to be jumped. I don't want to be stabbed. I don't want to be shot. So uh, this is my home. I mean, I'm gonna. I mean, what do you guys think? I'm, you think I'm gonna stop? I'm gonna be on the bike path waiting for them to jump me. If I don't, if I could put my trailer in storage, or if I don't have to bring my trailer, and I could be nimble like I am right now, I fear nothing. And then when it's night time, I'll just go right way out there. You know, I can't afford to have studded tires. And I've only got 700 by 40s. So I hope it don't snow too bad. Because these are not snow tires. If it was snowing really bad, and I somehow had extra money, I would buy snow tires. But uh,
we'll see what happens. I'll have one computer instead of four. I hope I can keep that safe. And uh, I don't know, man. Thought about burying it in the desert. Of course, on my storage facility, I need I'm need my computer sometimes. It's depending on what kind of job I get. I need it to be safe. I won't need my computer. See, the computer's gonna be like a, like everything else with value. It's gonna be a danger. <laughs> Having that computer. Am I going the right way or what? All right, guys, I need to check my... I, it's been a long time. I think this is the right way, but I'm not sure. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Wait a second here. See you, everybody. It's familiar. I don't go this way enough to know. Okay, I see it. All right. I see the rooftops. So everybody, I'm really hoping, um, you know, I didn't get to talk about how it feels to be walking around missing everything. There's a lot to talk about. I just wanted to give you guys a status update a little bit. And, uh, A lot of people tell me, oh, stay in China. A lot of people tell me that. You gotta understand, there's a storm coming in China. And I'm getting older. I've got to go back and leave on my own terms here and try to get my wife her citizenship now rather than waiting till later on somebody else's terms. But I'm not strong enough to do it. You know, right now I'm strong enough. I'm not very strong. And I'm not as strong as I want to be. But it's on, you know. I'm so happy that my family, considering my mother and my father, and and I, I'm so happy that after all was done for them, the way they blatantly turned their back on my kids, I'm pissed off about that. I'm, shows the true colors. It 
it's all right, man. I don't need that. It's okay. I don't hate. I don't have any hate. I don't have any animosity. I just have a new outlook on how all it works in the. I mean, it's not new. What the fuck is? No surprise. Same, same old, same old. You know. It's all good. Just need my wife to be strong, and I need to be stronger. I can't be strong for her. She's got to be strong for herself. Sometimes I feel like I'm watching a train crash in slow motion. So um, as we get closer to this, to D-Day, and, and her psychology worsens because it's getting real bad now. I hope she has the strength to maintain. God, I hope she does, man. It's all about whether or not she can maintain her composure. Everything else, I will fight and I will find a way. She's got to keep the kids safe, you know? So, here I am in my student's house and, uh, How's that for a short vlog? Oh, um, not really, uh, not really full of all the other stuff that I like to talk about and all my deep thoughts. I did buy the domain, Deep Thought Cycle blog domain. If you go to newscipher.com, that's my other site that's, that's defunct. I'm thinking about uh, moving the videos over from YouTube and, and, and repossessing my my template, my Drupal template that I use to create newcipher.com because I don't have time to, to do newcipher. I don't know if you guys are aware of that channel that I started. N E W S C Y P H E R C I P H E R. That was my channel I started when I wanted to talk about news, but I don't got time to do that. But I do got time to ride a bike, so I thought about just changing my picture up in the heading and take that site over for Deep Thought Cycle. I don't know if it makes, makes a difference to have a website or not with YouTube. But there's a lot going on, everybody. And uh, oh man, I've never imagined this has happened. This is my nightmare come true. And are we on here? It's a nightmare for me. I don't know. I don't know another thing to do. We got most equipment. I got most of clothes. My wife's she's gonna be completely, and she's alone like a like an eleven year old child, man. You know, I'm a guardian, right? And um, you know, I got a lot of sick people on the internet saying, "Oh yeah, well, how old were you as your wife when you met her?" Like, like, I, like, like this is Thailand, and I'm going over to take care of advantage of young girls and stuff. And no, that's not true. What happened is, what happened is, hey, Nia. Yo yo, dice, 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 yo, sure. Dice, 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 what, what, what. The thing is, is, uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't, it's not like I came over here and, um, and it's not like I came over here and it was like finding young girls like Thailand or something. My wife was 20 when I met her, and we got married when she was 24. I was already in China for four years. I was 10 years older than her. It's not like, trust me, I see crazy, dirty old men and stuff. I know what happens in Thailand. Hey, Nia. So it's it's not nothing like nothing like that. So you guys got to know that, okay? Okay. So I gotta I gotta go. My students are arriving, and um, hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned, and uh, God help us. You know, any donation could help. Stay tuned for a GoFundMe. If you want to help, I got a PayPal, um, and um, the Patreon thing. And uh, anyways, just be safe out there. I'll see you guys later on. Bye-bye.